over it. So I'm connecting the serial to here, and now, now I'm powering it on after I start a serial terminal. And we will see Linux booting, hopefully. So have you guys used Raspberry Pi before? Yeah. Did you hook it up to a screen and use a keyboard? Yeah. So it's just an alternate means to log into it. Serial console, it's just, you know, a lot less graphical, a lot less GUI. It should work with BeagleBone, right? What we are yeah. doing? Yeah. BeagleBone does have a JTAG header on the bottom and the exact same techniques would work because all you have to do is populate that header oh, nice. and use the proper JTAG adapter. Gotcha. I have not done it on a Big Bone Black, but it's, it's Yeah, really we are work. working on support for Big and Bone Black uh, for the Blackmagic Pro. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem is Texas Instruments knows everything better, so they are making their own shit. Gotcha. Feeding, yeah, you have to force it to speak it's a speak normal language. Right. That's basically gotcha. what it is. Okay. So we have to add some some code that switches it over. Mm -hmm. So normally we could go in and we could modify the flash and the chip to change what mode, what pins boot as what? Right, Rally? Like, yes, yes. uh, not right now. Okay. So, I mean, it's that's like kind of, when you go to like the JTAG adapters, like there's like $20,000 lot of the JTAG adapters, they're $20,000, they do all that fancy stuff, but it's not for the hobbyist level. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we had that issue a little bit before also. That it, it yeah, just, so what did Oh, it's locked. Oh, it's locked. So there we go. There we go. We hit our breakpoint. So let, let's look at our registers. I, I space our info regs, and we see what's the value of our zero? F, 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 F3, that's yeah. negative 13. Yeah. That's the failure code. What do we want? Zero. So set z, uh, our PC, uh, R0 equals zero, and continue. And what do you think happens? <laughs> Oh, nice. That is so oh, cool. Shit. So we have a second demonstration, or uh, walkthrough that we will do if we were doing the lab, but it's kind of time, pro time, time intensive. You sit there and watch it run for a while. The process Getty is what, what hands out your shells, right? You go log in, Getty asks you for your username, and says, oh, here, go ahead and log in. It does that with a string. It passes the login, including your username. There's a little dash dash in that command line to prevent you from giving like a username that's like and you know cat you know Etsy shadow right um, to in inject commands. The dash dash says don't process any more commands. So what we did is we ran a script and it goes through memory like all of memory searching for that dash dash and we're gonna change that dash dash to dash f because if you run login dash f root instead of asking for the root password it just logs you in. So what we would do is we would go through, we'd search through, remember, we look for that dash dash, which is like 2D, 2D. Um, we find it, we change the 2D to a 2D66, which is two, a dash 